uh, there'll be times when a whole slew of results come in from, let's say, the northern suburbs of Johannesburg or the eastern suburbs of uh, Twana and will overtake the ANC. And then uh, a minute later, maybe some township results come and then, then the ANC comes back. So it's going to be a ding dong for quite a while. Okay, I can tell you that the numbers here continue to come in, and I think the, the, the rate at which they're coming in is increasing here. Interesting features on the board include the MK Party and the EFF, which are both at 10% of the support. Call us on what you say. I was this news reporting live from Alberton. We move to the Eastern Cape now, where the ANC remains optimistic of a resounding victory in the province, with just over 300,000 votes counted so far. But the party has raised concerns over Umkonto Wesizwe, which is making major inroads in KwaZulu-Natal and other regions and provinces. Babalo Ndeza joins us live now from the Provincial Rock in East London. Babalo, what's the mood like where you are as the numbers start trickling in? Uh, Maggie, the mood at the East Cape Resort Centre is really one of calm, with just a handful of party agents and officials keeping a watchful eye on the results leaderboard in front of them, uh, which just has 21.6% of the votes in the ANC stronghold captured by the IEC, and the ANC leads the pack unsurprisingly, if I may just, if I may just add, Maggie, with 194,000 votes, and followed closely by the DA at 54,000 votes. We caught up with the ANC provincial chairperson as well as the premier of Oscar Mabuyane, who says he agrees that it's still early days, but he does say things are getting good for the ANC. So far, so good, yes. It's early hours, early days. Uh, but it's good that the ANC is showing up. It would be very good for ANC to pick up. You see, when you are chasing a score from behind, sometimes you are likely not to make it. Or you play for a draw. We don't play for a draw, you are playing for a win. Now, Maki, despite Mabuyane's optimism, he did express his concerns about the NK party and the impact the Jacob Zuma Z organization could have on the ANC nationally. Mabuyane on the Eyewitness News, reporting live from East London. And over at the National Results Centre, different scenarios are under discussion between political parties and pundits as the votes continue to be captured and included on the IEC's leaderboard. 1.7 million valid votes have been counted so far, with around 17% of the voting districts also having been processed. While the ASC is in the lead with over 700,000 votes and now approaching the 1 million mark, it is facing stiff competition in KwaZulu-Natal. In KwaZulu-Natal, the Mkondo party, which is fronted by former President President Jacob Zuma is currently ahead of several parties, including the ANC, the IFP, the DA and the EFF. Sidi Madia is at the National Results Center. We cross to her now. Sidi, results are still slowly trickling, trickling in at the at the Rock. Yes, Mark, it's a very slow day here. Yeah, I'm looking at the leaderboard. Currently, total valid votes at 1.79 million. A bell rang not too long ago, only edging for a slight margin from where we are. But of course, Despite all of this, there's nobody stop people here from discussing what is possible when we leave the rock at the end of the relations. My best as a stand is close, looking at numbers, South Africa's back to Parliament, of course, despite the leader before the quarter, claiming to you not know, have done anything that warrants him not returning to the National Assembly. Good on the back of challenges from parties like the Cape Colour Congress, Alderman, possibly the Patriotic Alliance is something others are discussing here worry that it might not be able to take their seats back in parliament parties are also in a way towards the one million mark of dimension with the ANC at the national level leading the pack with 770,000 770, ballots the ANC of course is targeting anything between 11 and 14 million votes while 17 of the voting districts have been captured so far these are mostly believed to be from smaller rural votes with a dumps will be from the big urban areas. I don't know if you heard that bell, but that's a signal to say that the bell, the leaderboard will be shifting. There'll be some updates that we will receive in a few minutes. TV Madia, Eyewitness News, reporting live from the National Results Operations Center. At the same time, as voting as vote counting continues across the country, ANC chairperson Gwede Mandashe says the Umkonto Wesizo party's performance in KwaZulu Natal is shocking. The newly formed party, led by former President Jacob Zuma, is leading the polls in the province so far at 42.49%. Meanwhile, the ANC is coming in second at close to 21% in the province. Mandashe says the numbers are unexpected. I must say, Kizadan has surprised me a great deal. I expected IFP to do much better. But MK is doing well. That surprised me. 
Gauteng Police Commissioner Tomim Tombeni says some of the people who were arrested for election-related violations include those who took pictures of their ballot papers. 20 people were handcuffed in the province yesterday as millions cast their votes in the national and provincial elections. Despite the IEC reminding voters that it's an offence to post or publish pictures showing a person's vote, images showing which political party they voted for have been circulating online. Mtombeni says there were no major incidents reported. Some of the voters that become excited and uh, after voting and then they take uh, you know the pictures for the ballot which is not allowed and some of the voters will find that they're having a squabbles you know within the uh, the voting uh, line and uh, ultimately one opens the case locket and in Iran, as the country continues to mourn late President Ibrahim Raisi, the country has opened registrations for presidential candidates ahead of a snap vote next month to replace him. Raisi and seven members of his entourage, including Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian, were killed when the aircraft they were traveling in came down on a fog-shrouded mountainside in northern Iran. The Islamic Republic's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has since assigned Vice President Mohammed Mahmoud as caretaker president in accordance with the constitution. According to reports, presidential hopefuls will have five days to register for the 14th presidential elections, which were originally slated for next year. Gold's trading at $2,338.90 an ounce. The rand's at $1,842 to the dollar, at $2,340 to the pound, at $1,990 to the euro. Brent crude oil is at $83.54 a barrel. Traffic remains sluggish in Parktown, uh, Brownfontein area. This is on Empire Road approaching Yansmat. Uh,